With Tesla's battery investor day approaching, it's no secret that Tesla already has a million mile battery by now. However, while a million mile battery is impressive, Tesla is currently working on a new battery cell that would be more energy dense, cost less, and take less time to manufacture than lithium ion batteries. In this video, I'm gonna go over Tesla's lithium metal and anode free battery patent, which will unveil the secrets behind Tesla's new technology. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content like this and let's get right into it. While Elon Musk is knowledgeable about the ins and outs on batteries, he certainly doesn't have time to conduct battery experiments all day. As a result, Musk has formed a Tesla battery research team that is spearheading the progress in Tesla's new battery. This team is led by Jeff Dunn, who was one of the pioneering developers of the original lithium ion battery. Jeff Dunn has recently been working on the next generation battery technology that he expects will eventually overtake lithium ion batteries as the most practical cell composition. While there has been plenty of hype around solid state batteries, Jeff Dunn believes that the future of batteries is going to be a completely different battery cell, lithium metal and anode free batteries. Just to clarify some confusion, lithium metal and anode free are not two different batteries. Rather, this is one type of battery named lithium metal and anode free. This technology has been revealed in Tesla's new battery patent, which goes over Jeff Dunn and his team's experiments with the battery. Many researchers have previously attempted to manufacture lithium metal and anode free batteries. However, there has always been certain shortcomings. Tesla explained these hurdles in lithium metal battery patents, stating that challenges with lithium metal and anode free lithium batteries have prevented their widespread adoption. For instance, developing electrolyte compositions that allow for commercially acceptable cycling performance of lithium metal and anode free lithium batteries is critical to gaining adoption of such battery systems. Essentially, what Jeff Don and his team are saying here is that while lithium metal and anode free batteries have plenty of benefits, the current lithium metal batteries aren't able to have a high enough lifetime for commercial use. This is important because while lithium ion batteries can withstand hundreds of thousands of cycles, the current lithium metal batteries aren't even able to last a few hundred cycles. While previous researchers have failed, Jeff Don believes he has found the solution. Don and his team stated that until present disclosure, the general consensus in the industry is that an electrolyte with lithium dorforu borate salt alone best increases the capacity retention of lithium metal and anode free lithium cells. By testing unconventional tactics, Jeff Don was able to beat the general consensus in the battery industry. By using a new electrolyte, Don's team was able to create systems that exhibited improved capacity retention. This battery is more energy dense, is less expensive, and is easier to assemble due to its lack of anode coating. While Jeff Don hasn't released any numbers on the energy density, recent tests not done by Tesla on the lithium metal and anode free technology were able to achieve an energy density of 2600 watt hours per kilogram. After this energy density is converted to driving range, this would equal to roughly 3650 miles of range. A battery with an energy density this high would not just revolutionize automobiles, but practically every other device in the world. Now while this technology is exciting, the truth is that it's still in development. Jeff Don's experiments were only able to get the battery to last roughly 75 cycles, which is far less than the range lithium ion batteries are able to achieve. To put this into perspective, Jeff Don's tests with lithium ion batteries were able to push the battery to 6000 cycles, whereas his tests with lithium metal were only able to push the battery to 75 cycles. While this may seem discouraging, keep in mind that if Don's battery is able to achieve a range of 3650 miles, this would mean that the battery would still have a lifetime of close to 275,000 miles. A quarter of a million miles may not seem like much in hindsight, but it's actually a sign of much more to come. As Tesla's lithium metal battery technology continues to improve with Don's research, lithium metal and anode free technologies will eventually take over lithium ion batteries. This would allow for more profits with vehicle to grid technology and robo taxis, 
ultimately letting Tesla owners make boatloads full of money with their Teslas. To top it off, a range as high as 3 to 4,000 miles would mean that electric vehicle owners may only have to charge their vehicles once every few months. Along with this, other electronic devices including laptops, cell phones, and watches would only need to be charged once every week. Let me know what you think about Tesla's new battery in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.